I like getting outdoors as much as possible. Always enjoyed the outdoors and the, the speed and the skill and the excitement of it and then also being able to get out into wild areas. I'd been for a number of years working as a ski patroller and a commercial raft guide in the summer in Alaska or Colorado or Washington and then in the falls would come back and work on the upper Gali as a guide and uh, after the golly season, would come back to Tucker County, and as soon as basically the snow would fly in Mount Hood, I'd head back out to Oregon to uh, ski patrol for the winter. That year was a uh, different year in that uh, Superstorm Sandy came through. About 50% of the trees in the county came down overnight. Um, state of emergency, most of the county was out of power for weeks on end for about two weeks had been working on the chainsaw crews, helping to recover the trail system here. And um, a couple days before I was ready to uh, fly back out to Oregon to start work, uh, basically drove off the side of the road. The top of the roof of the car ended up where the bottom of the windows normally would be with uh, myself kind of smashed by the, uh, the A column in the middle of that and spent a month in the hospital After sustaining a spinal cord injury and a life-changing event, um, definitely opened my eyes to you know, my particular limitations and then uh, to a whole world of accessibility issues. Just because it's harder doesn't mean that it's impossible. Getting out and enjoying the outdoors and uh, the physical exercise and the challenges we don't change because we have an injury. You just change the way you do it. Eric is doing amazing work with West Virginia on the go.com. But he also wants to get back to rafting big whitewater. It takes many skills to be a whitewater rafting guide. One of those skills is flipping a capsized raft. In order to flip a raft, you have to climb on top of it and use your body weight to bring the raft over on top of you. Eric, unfortunately, cannot do that because of his injury. That is where this raft, a creature craft, comes in. It cannot capsize. It can, however, roll onto its side. Eric will have to learn to right the craft using his body weight. This will take a special seat and harness and a lot of determination from Eric. I, for one, believe he can do it. You can help Eric with his goals of getting more handicap accessibility in West Virginia and guiding the river again.